In this video, I'm going to show you how to rotate a light 360 degrees around your model and place it exactly where you want with perfect accuracy. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. What we're going to do in this video is a little bit of a rehash of a video that I did a couple of years ago. And the reason for this is that uh, I'm going to be doing a series of videos very shortly where I'm going to be using this technique a lot. And so to save everybody asking me the same question, how do you do that, Rocco? Uh, I'm just going to rehash this video so it's fresh in everybody's mind and I can just point into the video if uh, uh, you do have that question of how to do it. And what it is that we are about to do is, as we saw in the intro, I'm going to show you the way how you can accurately and precisely rotate the camera or uh, a light around our model 360 degrees and keep everything as accurate and precise as possible so that you're not zooming in too much or zooming out or moving left or right while you, you try and move, the, you move your lights around. And it's an easy way to be able to set up your lighting in a scene when that lighting is uh, centering on a model like we've got in our scene over here. Uh, she's all ready for us to do some work with her and you can find that as usual, the links down in the description below if you want to follow along exactly or you like the look of what she is. So we're going to do that by uh, adding into the scene something called a null node. Uh, and then we're going to use that to rotate our light in this instance around our model. Uh, and the way that we do that is simple. We First of all, we need to click on our model. And as you can see, it's put the little translation widget right at the base of where our model is stood. And then we're going to come up to the create menu up top, give it a click and then come down to this option called new null and give it a click and then that familiar dialog box that we see so often crops up and this time we're going to go for copy selected item genesis 9 female because that is what we've got selected give that a click and then hit accept and in the scene we get the null node put in and as we can see with the translation uh, widget or gadget it's exactly in the same position of what our model is in scene now, one thing to note in this instance is that because our model is slightly rotated in the scene, uh, one, when we've added the null node in, it has also added that same rotation into there as well. So I'm just going to highlight that and just make it, take it to zero so that uh, this gadget now and the null is now uh, directly pointing towards our camera, which if we come in, we can see there now. So now that null will be pointing exactly towards our camera as well with zero rotation. Uh, as you can see in this option, I've also in this display, I've also got a light in scene that's pointing more or less at our model's head. Its position is a little bit irrelevant at the moment because it's going to change very shortly automatically when, when we do something with it. And the thing that we're going to do, if I just come back out to our perspective camera, is I'm going to click on the key light that's in the scene. I'm going to drag it over what that null node and I'm going to drop or release the mouse button at that point and as you can see in scene it's positioned that that light at the exact same position as the null node in scene so what I want to do now is just get it back into position so I'm just going to with a key light selected in the scene tab I'm just going to bring it back up to roughly uh, in line with the head and then just pull it back again to roughly where it was in scene before we dropped it on. So now if we go back to the camera, it's roughly in the scene. I'll just bring it back down. I want to point more or less at the tip of a nose. And so now we've got a null node in scene. We've got our key light within the null node in the exact position that we want it to be at. Uh, and now if we come back up to our camera selector, I just want to show you something. I've just got a little top down camera in here so we can see the scene from above in its entirety. Uh, there's our light, there's our model. The null node is somewhere uh, at the, the model's feet. If we now come up and select the null node at the model's feet and come down to the rotation, uh, uh, the Y rotation specifically of the null node, and we now start to rotate this left and right, as you can see, as the null node rotates, it drags the light with it. And it goes in a perfect 360 degree circle, keeping itself pointing at our model. And we can go all the way around, as you can see. We can also, if I just put it back to zero so we're exact, we can also rotate it in the X uh, direction if we so want. We won't be able to see it much from here, but 
And so the camera or the light will rotate around. It'll go over the top of the model there. It'll eventually disappear underneath our scenery that we've got. And eventually it'll come back out. So now we've got full 300 degrees, uh, 300 degrees control of our spotlight in the scene in and around the model. We have our model lit up from the front there, as you can see. Now, if we come on to the, make sure we've got null selected. If we then come on to the orcs viewport over there, if we now again start to rotate around, we can see the light rotating around. It, it's disappeared off the viewport, as you can see. But now we can start to light our model up in all these different angles and we can quickly rotate the camera around or rotate the, the null point around with our uh, light in place and it'll automatically update it in our scene. If we want to put a little bit of height into it, we can do that. Uh, and then we can continue around until we can get the light roughly where we want it to be, to be able to light up our model. Now, of course, if we wanted to, we could take the, the light all the way around the back of our model, and we can have a silhouetted if we want. And we're, all that we're doing is we're just looking at the auxiliary viewport there at the top-down camera, and then just rotating the null around our model, as you can see. And it's just a great way to get the camera or to get the, the light in this situation. And you can use it with the camera as well, if you so wish to, to get the light exactly where we want it to be. And all the time maintain the correct distance away from our model. So like I say, I'm going to be using this technique quite a few times in the next few videos. So I thought I'd rehash this video so that you know... Uh, how I do this and so you're not hitting me with a barrage of questions of how we do it it's fresh in your mind and and if it's not I can just point you directly to this to this uh video and so you can just quickly refresh yourself if you need to so thanks for watching uh, I hope you get something out of this video if so give us a like down below uh that tells YouTube that I'm a better YouTuber than what I actually am and it gives me a boost in the algorithm uh likewise if you've not yet subscribed do so down below and hit the little notification bell uh that really really is appreciated by me and if you've got any questions or comments or anything like that about Daz, this video or anything else in general drop them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can so thanks for watching i'll see you later now bye bye now